హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు గోవిద్య సో మనకి తెలంగాణ నుంచి సో అలానే డిఫరెంట్ ఎగ్జామ్స్కి ఎవరైతే ఎలక్ట్రికల్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ప్రిపేర్ అవుతున్నారో సో వీళ్ళకి సో డిపెండెంట్ సోర్స్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఉంటాయి సో జనరల్గా కొంత డిఫికల్టీ అనేది ఉంటుంది అనమాట సో ఎక్కువ మంది ఫేస్ చేసే ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ అన్నీ కూడా సో ఎవరైతే ఎక్కువ మంది స్టూడెంట్స్ ఈ టాపిక్స్ నుంచి ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఫేస్ చేస్తున్నాము లేదంటే ఇటువంటి క్వశ్చన్స్ మేము అంత ఈజీగా సాల్వ్ చేయలేకపోతున్నాం అనే క్వశ్చన్స్ని అన్ని టాపిక్స్ని మనం తీసుకునేసి సో వన్ బై వన్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయడం జరుగుతుంది సో అదేవిధంగా సో డిపెండెంట్ సోర్సెస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ నెట్వర్క్ సబ్జెక్ట్ నుంచి సో ఎక్కువ మంది ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఫేస్ చేస్తున్నారు సో అంటే సాల్వ్ చేయలేకపోతున్నారు ఉద్దేశంతో సో ఇటువంటి క్వశ్చన్స్ ఏ విధంగా సాల్వ్ చేయాలి ఓకే ఒక మెథడ్స్ అనేవి నేను అక్కడ డిస్కస్ చేస్తాను ఓకేనా సో లెట్స్ డిస్కస్ వన్ బై వన్ క్వశ్చన్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ థౌజండ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఓకే అండ్ నెట్వర్క్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ సో ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆన్ డిపెండెంట్ సోర్సెస్ ఓకే so the first question we are solving for the circuit shown in figure determine the current ix okay so for the circuit shown in the figure they are asking to calculate the current ix okay see here there is a dependent source right okay so whenever a circuit you have seen with dependent source so immediately what you need to do so you have to go to this dependent source and it is a voltage source and it is depending upon a current value okay so current value is here okay so immediately you have to go to this current value okay so just observe near this current value because dependent value is current okay so here current is coming and here another current is coming if you take okay so what is the current here ix plus 3 okay so ix current is incoming 3 amperes is also incoming ix plus 3 will be the total current for this okay so now what you need to do if you write any kvl okay so can you write kvl in this loop so have one current source is there whenever current source is available okay so you cannot get the voltage across this current source okay so while writing the kvl you should not take the path with a current source okay so that's why you should not choose this path okay so you need to choose a closed path so where you will not get any current sources okay so in this path we'll write down okay so kvl so minus 10 plus 2 times of ix plus so here current is ix plus 3 into 1 okay so i'm writing directly ix plus 3 plus this is a voltage source having a value of 2 times of ix equals to 0 okay so total 2 ix 2 ix plus ix total 5 ix is there 5 ix okay 5 ix minus 10 plus 3 is nothing but minus 7 okay so equals to 0 so ix equals to 7 by 5 amperes okay so we need to solve like this okay see whenever dependent source problem is there so you need to go to so whatever dependent value is there okay so you need to go near to that okay so like that we we need to solve this question okay so the next question for the following circuit the equivalent resistance seen between the terminals a b is okay so they are asking about the equivalent resistance between the terminals a and b okay so generally for equivalent resistance calculation if each and every element resistance if you know then you can solve okay so by using series connection or parallel connection so maybe if it is a bridge connection or any other techniques are there for us then we can solve using that methods okay so but here one dependent source is available okay so when dependent source is there you don't know what is the resistance of this dependent source okay so for this element resistance is 1 ohm for this element resistance is 1 ohm for this element resistance is 1 ohm okay so for this element resistance is 2 ohms okay so but uh, for this element you don't know what is the internal resistance otherwise you don't know what is the resistance of this source okay so for example if we have a if you have a source like this which is independent voltage source okay for a voltage source internal resistance is nothing but our source resistance equals to 0 ohms for example if you have a current source okay so for the current source the internal resistance rs will be infinity ohms okay so that means this we need to short circuit so this we need to open circuit okay so current sources will be open circuited so voltage sources will be short circuited but dependent sources what we have to do with this dependent sources dependent sources cannot be replaced with its internal resistance because we don't know its internal resistance okay so because its value is vx its value is two times of vx which is depending on this value okay so directly voltage across this vx is dependent depending value on this current source okay so this is a current source which is depending upon a voltage value okay so in this case what you need to do so they have given two terminals for us 
if you connect a source between these two terminals okay say either voltage source otherwise current source anything you can connect okay so if you connect a voltage source or current source in this if you for example voltage source okay so how much current it has given if you calculate then voltage divided by current will give the resistance seen from these two terminals okay so like that we need to calculate okay so why we need to connect the external voltage source here so we don't have any other sources you observe one thing okay whenever there is only dependent source there is no other energy source for us independent energy source is not available okay so then what what we need to do so there will not be any voltage in this okay so any current in this so you cannot get the voltage across this and current into this terminal okay so that's why what you need to do you need one external energy source okay so what i am doing now you observe i am connecting one current source okay so current source of 1 ampere i am connecting here okay so why i am connecting current source what is advantage if i am getting if i connect one current source is you observe 1 ampere if i connect directly 1 ampere will flow here so that means voltage vx is nothing but 1 into 2 okay so 2 volt okay so vx value you got so that vx value if you are getting so automatically two times of vx value also you are getting okay so that means we have to choose wise okay so otherwise if you select a voltage source okay so then also you can get but analysis will become little bit a little bit slower okay so that's why now what we need to solve we need to get how much is the voltage across these two terminals okay so this source how much it has given voltage okay so across these two terminals you need to check okay so then voltage that voltage divided by current will give the resistance for us okay so anyhow here current is nothing but okay so current is nothing but 1 ampere okay and here you know the current okay so what is the current in this two times of vx okay vx value is 2 volt two times of vx is nothing but this is 4 amperes okay so now in these two branches we are having one car some currents okay so let's assume something i am assuming a current of i in this branch so remaining current okay i current is coming and i here 1 ampere is coming and i current is leaving so remaining current is 1 minus i okay so now 1 minus i current is incoming 4 amperes is leaving okay so what is the remaining current see 1 minus i current is incoming 4 amperes is outgoing okay so 1 minus i minus 4 okay so this will be the equivalent current okay so then it will be minus i minus 3 okay so this is the current here okay so now what you need to get you need to get this i value only okay so that is the only variable we are having okay vx value we have already okay so that's why only i we need okay so let's write in this loop okay so in this loop we can write down kvl okay so let's write see 1 i into 1 okay so we can write down minus i plus 1 into 1 minus i next plus 1 into minus i minus 3 okay so equals to 0 one kvl equation we have written okay minus i minus i minus i okay so minus 3i okay so total minus 3i and here plus 1 is there okay here minus 3 is there okay so plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 equals to 0 so then i equals to okay so to that side okay so minus 2 by 3 you got okay so current here is minus 2 by 3 you got okay so this is the current given here okay so current here understanding okay so then what do you need actually you need to calculate voltage supplied by this current source okay voltage supplied by this current source okay so what we will calculate this will be plus vx plus i into 1 okay so voltage supplied voltage supplied by current source okay so 1 ampere current source okay so this we need to calculate okay so that will be vx plus i into 1 okay so this will be the total voltage okay so in how vx value we have already okay so vx is nothing but 2 plus i value is minus 2 by 3 okay so minus 2 by 3 okay so 3 to it is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 by 3 okay so 4 by 3 will be the voltage across these two terminals current we have we have only given as 1 ampere okay so you will get 4 by 3 by 1 okay? which is 4 by 3 ohms okay see what is the what is the idea here 
whenever there is no source in the network okay so you cannot find out equivalent resistance with a dependent source okay so that's why what we are doing we are connecting one external voltage source or external current source okay so we can we can select the voltage source also there is no issue okay but whenever you you, you select here current source directly we are getting some voltage here okay so that means dependent source value directly we are converting into say proper integral value otherwise proper a normal value okay so which is directly calculated okay so that's why we have used this current source okay so this is how we need to solve okay so option for this one is 4 by 3 option b okay so the next question consider the following circuit determine thevenant's and determine thevenant's and not on equivalent okay so determine Sir, so, sir, so, 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 so.